for research entitled Student Mistakes in Arithmetic Operation How do students reason? Today, many students, especially elementary school students, make mistakes in arithmetic operation of integers or whole number. Of course, the condition of the students must be immediately assisted so that students do not uh, experience future difficulties in learning mathematics. To help students correct these mistakes, it is important for teachers to know not only the cause but also how students reason during arithmetic operation. Therefore, our research has two objectives. The first, to describe the reasoning of students who make mistakes in arithmetic operation. And the second, to find the cause of these mistakes. For this purpose, we selected five students from uh, 36 students who were tested for arithmetic operation skills. And the five students made mistakes in the test. And next, we interviewed them to see the reasoning processes and find the cause of the mistakes they made. And these are some of our findings and results. We start with the addition operation. The picture on the left is the student's work. We can see the subject does not understand the flash value in integers. The subject also does not understand the safe technique in addition. However, this mistake can be fixed. Teachers can help by providing an understanding of the concept of the value, for example, by placing Philip uh, below slightly to the left of one digit of uh, 13 like this because 13 is 13 ones which is the result of adding ones and 12 is 12 tens which is the result of adding tens Next, it is the subtraction operation. In the top picture of the left, uh, the subject thinks that a number cannot be subtracted by uh, larger numbers. So the subject thinks the result is zero. Another subject in the picture on the right assumes that the larger number must be subtracted by the smaller numbers. In the bottom pictures, the subject applies the borrow technique, but it is still not correct. It is also seen that the, there are still errors in the placement of tens and ones. To correct this, the teachers can provide an understanding that 1 tenth is equal to 10 ones. For example, 96 equal to 9 tenths plus 6 ones can be changed to 8 tenths plus 16 ones. So we get a result 
uh, like this. For multiplication, the subject solved like this. Uh, 6 times 2 is uh, 12. Write 2, save 1. 1 times 6 equal to 6. Add 1 equals 7. 1 times 1 is 1. This is an incomplete multiplication steps. The subject knows the SEP technique in multiplication, but the subject is wrong in applying it. In the second picture, another subject has been multiplying completely and is able to apply the SEP technique in multiplication, but the subject does not understand the place value in multiplication. This mistake can be corrected by providing an understanding of place value and utilizing the distributive property of multiplication over addition, as in the following example. The last one is division. In the two images above, the subjects Equate the division and subtraction operation. Another subject in the picture below is doing the sum. 2 plus 2 is 4 and 8 plus 2 is 10. Then uh, 28 divided by 2 is 104. It is clear that subjects do not understand the concept of division as the inverse of multiplication or as repeated subtraction. The image on the top right show division as uh, repeated subtraction. Uh, 10 divided by 2 means the number of repetition of repetition of subtraction by 2 from 10 so that the remainder is 0 then this method can be developed as shown this image uh, this image before using the standard sequential division technique Based on the finding and result, it can be concluded that, in general, the cause of mistakes is the limited knowledge of the prerequisites for performing arithmetic operations, but some traces of student reasoning so, not worthy creative thinking, and teachers can use this line of reasoning to improve students' reasoning processes. And I would like to thank to my colleague, Mr. Ah uh, Muhammad Troyani Abdul Jabbar, and my students. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.